Oh my god, I love being motivated. I love being motivated. Me too. Being In life, there is trauma. And trauma can affect us. Trauma can affect us in many ways. But that's the question. How do you deal with trauma? Do you let it hurt you or do you let it help you? Do you let it make you bitter? Do you let it make you better? Do you let it to ruin your life or do you let it to build your life? As Captain Planet said, the power is yours and it is your choice. I'm reminded of this old wives tale that I've heard many years ago. There's this lady and she was in China. Her children were killed in this horrific plague and she was devastated. She just lived all day just wanting to die because life was so sad for her. And she just couldn't take this pain anymore until one day she went to a medicine man and said, please, please, can you take this pain away? My children are dead and I don't want to live with this pain. Can you give me something so I will forget? The medicine man looked at her and said, yes, I will take your pain away. I have the perfect pill, but you have to do something for me first. What is it? I will do anything. You have to go door to door and find me one person who hasn't felt trauma. To which the lady was ecstatic because she had hope. Something was going to take her pain away. So she went to the first house, knocked on the door, and asked them if they experienced trauma. To which they replied that their children also died in the plague. And when she heard that, her heart opened and they regaled in stories about their children and connected with each other and they hugged and they cried together. And then she left to find the next home and knocked on their door and their parents died. The old parents died and she, oh man, her heart was so open to these people as they regaled the stories again and hugged and said, oh man, and then she continued. And each house that she went to, those houses also experienced trauma. And each time she did that, her heart opened and she connected with those people. About two years later in thousands of houses, she returned to the medicine man and told the medicine man this. I did not find anyone who has not experienced trauma. I don't need the medicine. Thank you. That is because this lady learned the secret to dealing with trauma. And that is to give what you want. To give what you need. She needed love from her children and closure. And she was able to work with other people and give that. And giving what she needed, she received the healing that she needed. The pain of losing her children will never go away. But every time that pain comes up again, she can give it. She can give love. She can give understanding. Thus, allowing her to move forward in her life and be the best her that she can be. If you paid attention to a lot of my videos, you would know this about me. At the age of eight, my mom abandoned me. And every decision I have made since then has practically been based on this fact, this destruction, the destruction feeling, and I had this desire to be loved and understood and be vulnerable, but instead I locked myself in a pain, in a shell of fear. And when I was turned 26, I decided to change my life forever. And that is when I looked for everything. I looked for the right amount of steps the keys, the days, the habits. I did EFT, TFT, even tried Mickey D's. I looked for affirmations, visualizations, something to get rid of this pain, to get rid of it, so it will never affect me again. But what I learned during this time, and what I truly learned, the only thing that really works is when I give what I needed. And that has been the impetus of my story, of what I do. Every time I get up and speak, that is me giving my heart to the audience, giving my vulnerability. In my book, Joyous Expansion, Unleashing Your Passion to Lead an Inspired Life, that is me 
That book is me giving my heart out to you, giving my heart out to the audience through my coaching, through everything. And through that, that is how I heal. The idea that I can give up my pain, the idea that one day I can just heal and never be bothered again, didn't exist. It's a fallacy. In fact, in my book, it's one of my eight keys to joy is giving up the illusion of being done, giving up the illusion of being healed, as there's a part of me that will never heal, a part of me that every once in a while, the pain will come up again. I will feel the desire to contract. I will feel the desire to protect myself. However, now I know what to do about it. I know that I'm supposed to give more love, give more trust, give more vulnerability to open my heart, to open my heart more because that is what allows me to move forward. That is what allows me to be the best me that I can be. And I want and challenge you to look in your life. It doesn't have to be as dramatic as mom abandonment or some, but there is something in your life that has created a fear that is holding you back. Some trauma, some adult who told you you can't do something, somebody who told you no at the right time when you decided to never put yourself out there. There is something that existed that caused a need and a desire in your life that is holding you back. And I want you to just take a second. Ask yourself what you want. Ask yourself what you need. And then give it. Either find someone to give it, do some practice where you give that, or even just in how you do your daily activities. Just exude that feeling exude what it means, what you need, what you give. In life, the heart traumas, in life, things are going to happen. Things are going to happen that you don't like. That's the way it is. But what really matters isn't what happens, it's what you do with it. You can use your pain to ruin your life, or you can use it to make it better. You can make yourself bitter, or you can make yourself better. You can make life full of hate, or you can make it full of love, you can create hell on earth, or you can create heaven. The choice is yours, and I challenge you to make the better one, and give your desires. I'm Brett Dupree, your champion of authentic joy. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share it, give me a comment on what you are giving to this world, and I wish you an amazing day. JoyousExpansion.com JoyousExpansion.com Come and say hello to Brett Dupree He is an inspirational life coach Good for you and good for me He turned my life from grey to blue I'm sure he'll do the same for you Get in touch and you'll see Your life will change dramatically JoyousExpansion.com JoyousExpansion.com Yeah!